What's up guys, Austin here from Airsoft Station and today we are reviewing this beast. Ah yes, this is the CO2 Desert Eagle by KWC. This gun is also licensed by Magnum Research, which means that right on the gun you're going to have very realistic trademarkings as well as licensing. Right here it says Desert Eagle Pistol, Magnum Research Incorporated, Pillager, Minnesota, USA. Now. I am a little bit biased, I think that's a really cool feature of this gun for the sole reason that I'm a Minnesota resident and it was licensed in my backyard. However, setting aside my bias and setting aside the licensing, this gun is actually a great performing airsoft pistol. I actually personally own one of these and I think that really says something about a gun. I am surrounded by airsoft guns all day long and I get a chance to play with a lot of them while I do my reviews here on YouTube. And the fact that I pick one out out of all of the options, and I say, okay, that's the one I actually want to spend my money on. I think that really says something about a gun. Some of the reasons that I personally picked this gun is it's big and it's bold. And yes, I've said it before, Airsoft is a little bit of a fashion statement. This gun, it's real steel counterpart, it's a 50 AE, it's a bold gun. And its Airsoft counterpart has done a great job of conveying that same message. When you pull this gun out of a holster, everyone on the field is like, Oh, because it is an incredibly intimidating gun. Another feature I love about this gun is the recoil. This is a big, heavy, solid slide that blows back. So when it recoils, it's very satisfying. You truly feel it. Another feature I love on this gun is the full auto capability. Now, is that incredibly realistic? No. The real Desert Eagle is a huge round, and if you were to fire that on full auto, you would probably break your entire arm right off of your body. But um, the Airsoft version, not the case, and why not make it full auto? Um, it's a lot of fun. You can keep it on safe and semi if you want. It has a selector switch here. But if you're just in that mood, or you're on the field, and you want to go full auto, you have that capability, which I think is great in Airsoft. Let's take this gun over to the Chrono range, and you can see how it performs. And I wanted to show you the cool speed loader that comes with the KWC Desert Eagle. So with all pistol mags, you have to load them by hand, which you can still do very easily with the Desert Eagle, but it also comes with the speed loader. And the way that works is you put it right over the feeding lips of your magazine, pour some BBs into the tube, and then obviously you'd fill it all the way up. That's just not what I got in my handful. And then with the jamming rod, you can push it all the way down into the magazine and it loads it very easily. Now, as I showed you, you can still load it by hand. So if you do ever like lose this or something like that, it's not the end of the world. It's just very convenient to use while you do have it. All right, so we're back from the range. You got to see how it performs, and if you haven't already fallen in love, let me try to convince you. Um, this gun, it's big, it's heavy. It's not easily concealable. If you want a really small, lightweight, concealable, or tucked away sidearm, this is not the route to go. However, if you want something that's flashy, if you want something that's effective, if you want something that has a decent amount of power with a good range and accuracy because of that longer barrel, um, this is definitely a great gun, especially with that full auto feature. It really makes it extremely effective. You have a 23 round magazine in there, so you're not having to worry about constantly reloading, or when you do put it on full auto, it's not like a very small limited clip that you're gonna drain all of your ammo with a single little trigger burst. Um, the gun is also just very realistic. Um, it strips down exactly the same as the real steel. Um, Desert Eagle, you can see the double spring guides in there. It just, it's very nice. And also you have your adjustable hop up right there. Very easy to get to. Um, the gun is just really nice. I like it. Um, put it back together and you're ready to go just like that. Um, you can easily do it. You can field strip it. You can clean it. I could do it standing here while talking to you. It's, it's very easy to maintain, very easy to clean, and it's just fun to use. So that's about it for this video. Until the next one, have a good one, guys.